Okay, I decided to put this little intro up because the table and chairs that you're going to watch me do took a lot of gluing. I've actually already sold the piece. The guy's very happy with it. But not only does sometimes it might feel like there are pieces missing, just comment and, and I'll try to answer everything. I had to do this over three or four days and it was so choppy when I was filming it. I had a hard time putting it together and I realized I didn't have the right kind of film. And I'm actually behind several videos because of it that are all like cramping up in my phone. I don't really have a good place to store my videos or to do it. I do it all on my phone. So uh, I just wanted to give this little intro because there was so many cool items that I used on uh, techniques and that's why I wanted to show myself gluing these uh, pieces. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, so we've done a little gluing and effectively I just squeezed it together. It's no perfect job, but as you can see the other feet had some cracks started as well. And I might throw a little bit of glue in there and just squeeze them shut at a later time, but this is just a nice table for someone to get by with. And, and as I said before, all these tables are just pulled from the trash and made good enough for someone to use or perhaps do more restorations themselves. So I use this glue, which I'm fond of, also not affiliated with, and just, you know, pop the clamp on there. And I've got this because I don't want to get glue stuck to the table, which I already have. I'll have to wipe that off. All right. So I've been working on projects and this. So I've already cleaned off. Somebody used this rubberized glue. And you can see where it's busted. I've been watching this uh, woodworking channel on YouTube. And he's really shown me quite a bit of stuff, uh, really cool tips. One, when using glue, use an artist paintbrush. Um, taught about staining and gel. Now I glued this piece and it's, you know, it's not perfect. I can still see the crack, but it was mainly just to get it back sturdy again. This whole, this little piece right here where my finger is had come off. And that's where it was glued on originally. This. These legs were made up of several pieces uh, put together, machined and put together, versus being milled. So, but I'm going to put these table and chairs together and uh, clean them up and get them to match. So, right here you can see I got to get a little bit of glue in there and clamp that shut. And what I'm going to do is this side is still pretty clean. The break was pretty sharp. Ooh. My bad. The brake was pretty sharp. And you put it on there and you, re you realize that it doesn't just sink right in there. That means that there's stuff in the way that you have to clear out a little bit when putting it all together. And I'll do that and I'll show it tighter. And then you just clamp it from the bottom to the top together. And I'm going to put a dowel right here, as I think I said before. Um, this is actually my third take of this. I keep having an issue with the with the phone. But this table and chair, and here's the top. It used to have a, a spread, uh, what is it, a leaf in the center, but that's now gone. So I'm going to get some sort of hooks and just hook it closed, maybe screw it down, and it'll just be a two, uh, regular table. Oh, here you can see one it was ten dollars at one time I don't think I paid that for it I think I got it out of the garbage free on the side of the road curb alert but I'm gonna get gluing and get trimming and put this all together so I ended up bringing this inside because I was having trouble outside getting it to focus so this was attached to that dowel, um, and I realized it was loose. And here's why it was loose. It's still cracked. So I'm actually going to glue this little tiny piece shut, squeeze it together with just a little clamp. And then I'm going to take this piece and glue it back to the, uh, uh, the dowel. Original dowels were sort of cone-shaped, which means it will fit back in there. And I'll scrape this residue out. That'll help pound it back into place. 
And uh, but what I'm going to do is uh, then after I glue the tiny piece together, I'm going to glue it to the, that uh, arch part that goes on the top back. And then I will glue the, uh, the dowels together. So I was having some trouble outside. It's just, this is how, you know, to get a really strong bond. I can see that this is what happened uh, to another one of the chairs and they glued it with this weird rubberized glue. Um, that hold is actually still strong, so I will leave it, but this is a more proper-ish way of going about it. Okay, I've got this clamped and it's drying. And then I've got this little piece clamped and it's drying. And then I'll clamp that to this and let it dry and then clamp, put in a, we'll drill a dowel and put that in and let it clamp. You know, so it's a lot of in-between time for what would seem like in most people's heads, a five minute repair is really, take all day. That's why we do lots of projects in between each other. Me, I just do this in between watching the little girl. So this is called vector clamping. See this curve? It actually mimics this curve right here. And what I'm gonna do is cut it out, but I'm gonna cut it here. So just have this little thing. And I'm gonna stick that here um, in, in a way so that, and there's gonna be just a little notch so that I can stick that here and then clamp it this way. And then I'll have to clamp it down to this too. And that's what this is for. Well, I started cutting it and I actually broke my jigsaw blade. I'm really bad about replacing dull blades on my tools. This is just telling me of what I need to do. But you could see I was actually gonna cut this whole thing out and then cut this spot a little notch so that I can hold it this way, but I can still get it to clamp this way for right here. There we go. I had to use my grinder for the rest of it, and I ended up uh, not doing the whole piece because I didn't have a way of cutting that out without the jigsaw. So this way works, and to be honest, because of the curve, the vector goes this way, so I can't actually do it the way I want. But this is enough to get it to hold the shape that I want under pressure. This handy little dowel kit, it's got a, th a three here, and it's got a collar so you don't go too far with a little bolt that you can Allen screw in. And these are cool. Once you drilled the hole, you put that in the dowel where the dowel would go, and then you put your other item directly above it. And you can do it in two spots to line it up, and that way you know exactly where the dowel needs to be drilled on the other side of the piece, which I think is a pretty cool thing. I'm just going to need to do one. Uh, you know, So you set that in there, and then you just sort of put your item right on top and figure out where it's got to go. Okay, so I've glued into place, and I just did it to eye to see how well I would do. So we pop that fella in, and that looks pretty right on. And we'll just keep these guys out for now, and we'll check this out. See how off that is? It's off on that corner and off on that corner by about the same. Uh, what happened was, is that this hole was so rough that I had to fill it. So I figured if I got lucky and put it in the right spot, awesome. But since I didn't, I'm actually going to flush, cut it off, and then re-drill it. Uh, to allow it to go in the right space, which is going to be going up this way and over this way a little bit kind of where that little open gap is. So hopefully I'm able to get it right. If not, I'll fill it one again and try again. It's just, you know, trial and error. Now I cut it and you can see I have a nice flat surface to work for. So now I'll take this little tool set and do it again carefully. 
and we'll pop that in here and now when I line it up it will push right where it needs to be on this flat surface and I should be able to get a correct size dowel to throw in there. So as you can see this is not where I was pointing at. I actually had because of that small divot that was right next to uh, the dowel I actually had it slip and so I'm actually filling it with yet another dowel and that's just you know what you have to do to make it get flat uh, so that you've got a nice even flat working space and then once I've got it again I will try and hopefully third time's the charm and I won't have any slippage. Four times it took, four times of redrilling that hole. The fourth time I finally widened the hole a little bit and what I did is I used this little bit of pressure to push it over and I'll just let it glue itself dry. Uh, I actually ran out of clamps. This is actually a little two clamp trick if you don't have one long enough. But I need to get some more of these that are larger. And I really haven't shown you guys the front. You know, it's a lot of, it turned out to be a lot of work. There was the original repair. And it's just more or less like this is a nice enough looking chair. I'll clean the tops a little bit and just oil it down, get rid of the scratches. And it'll really turn into a nice piece for someone, I think. So, I'm going to let this dry overnight and we'll see what happens. So I've got these two weird pieces of wood and I just drilled a hole through them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just put them here and use them just like so to keep the things because the leaf is missing to keep the uh, the two ends together you know if anyone wants to use anything else they can just unbolt them and it's a way to use up wood that normally would just be wasted so I used old hardware because why not I'm actually gonna organize all the hardware I pull off that's old so I can keep it separate now these had really interesting old square and it's just a matter of getting them back on to put this table back to life. Really did the scratches if you look back and you saw just how desperate these were for just a little bit of stuff on them. Uh, and the table cleaned up nicely too. It actually... Uh, Biggest problem we had was there's a lot of gunk on the top of it, but that's okay. We'll make do. And I've attached it so that the leaves don't move anymore. With, uh, you can see up in there, those two pieces that just came from one of my organs. Oh, also one of these, there was a little screw and this was bending in. I ended up putting these back. Uh, they were better to holding that from moving so much. But yeah, I didn't even realize that these legs had this graceful curve. Makes for a really nice breakfast table. So, that's the repair of these chairs, you know. Sometimes, you know, you get stuff that you can put together these did not come together, but they'll look nice when they're together. So, for now, time to get these to work on the next thing. This little chair. Take time to tinker. This little bonus right here, this is the coolest thing. Uh, it is a card table. And there are buttons. See these buttons? You push that, that makes the legs, watch this, see if I can do this with one hand, nope, push the button in, okay, and the leg opens out when you push the button in, see you can see it release, so I'm proud, this is so cool I'm probably going to keep it for myself. Uh, but I want to just show you real quick. I'm going to put it back down. And these 
doors are actually eight foot tall. Unfortunately, they had some rot. I could see why they were thrown away, and I'm just going to cut them down one piece shorter and make something out of them. There are two of them. Maybe a bench? Who knows? So I'm really bummed. I actually wiped this down with this Johnson's Restore Finish. Uh, you know, not sponsored by them or anything, but it's just one of the things. I like this or Old English. What I did is I just literally just dumped it on. Uh, we'll do a little bit more. You just dumped it on to see it bring out the luster back. I like this card table enough that I'm probably just going to keep it. For myself, you know, table's always a nice thing to have. But yeah, it just revitalizes it. Maybe I'll fix that little bit of... It's a really cool table. It just, and it needs to soak up all this stuff back into it. So, there you have it. That's just a quick one-off, and it's so much better. So I'll keep this little table for myself. Maybe uh, fix the veneer one day. Maybe make a project out of that. I wish I could show you when it was original and then I first did it because it really made a wow factor. But, oh, can't do it. Can't have everything.